Hello my lovelies, it is well with all of you in the name of Jesus. I hope this message meets you well in good health and in good condition. I wish you the best in life. No matter your circumstances, your situation, God is going to wipe away your tears and He will give you testimony. Your life will not remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for always watching Abraham Moses Bishop video on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, also on WhatsApp and Telegram. Thank you so much. Shall be well with you. For the benefit of those just watching, my name is Pastor Abraham Moses. My friends call me Bishop. My account on Facebook, tell Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and my Facebook page is Abraham Moses Bishop. Please subscribe and join any of my social handles. Shall be well with you. I also have a group on Facebook which is called All You Need Is The Word, which is strictly for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for always watching. God is about to meet you at the point of your needs in Jesus' name. My number is plus 234-80283-55548. I see you laughing again in the name of Jesus. You will testify. You will rejoice again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for those who want to give their life to Christ wherever you are watching from. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I have sinned against you. Show me mercy. Write my name in the book of life. I promise not to go back to my sin. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Congratulations for giving your life to Christ. Get yourself a Bible. Look for a Bible believing church where the word of God is being preached undiluted. And make sure you are doing something great in the uh, you are doing something in the house of God because that is where God will bless you greatly. For prayer, partnership, and counseling, give me a call on plus 234-80283-55548. It is well with your soul in Jesus' name. Are we talking on lay aside every weight? Lay aside every weight. I don't know that thing that seems like great in your life. Please lay it aside. Lay aside that unforgiveness. Lay aside that malice. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady. I will give you rest. Lay aside unforgiveness, grudges, malice, backbiting, whatever it is that will weigh you down. Lay it aside. James chapter 1, verse 21 it says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. The only thing that can save your soul is the word of God. It says, Receive with meekness the engrafted word of God. Moses is the meekest man on earth. God said is the meekest man on earth. Receive with meekness the engrafted word of God that's able to keep your soul. The Bible says, For blessed are those that are the meek, for they shall see God. It shall be well with you in the name of Lay aside that weight. Lay aside that unforgiveness. There is somebody watching me. You are holding somebody in your heart. Forgive that person. Let go and let go. Let go and let go. You have said that over your dead body will you forgive that person. Let go. Let go and see what God will do. A man was quarreling with another uh, his friend. And the man said, over his dead body will he forgive the other one. Unknown to him, they, both of them, they separated. That one tried everything to get him, couldn't get him. But one day, after two years, this man met the wife of the other one, not knowing that the one he said he would not forgive her has died. He passed on some months. So he now met him. The wife of the other man now greeted him. He said, good afternoon. He said, don't greet me. Don't greet me. That's your husband. I will make sure I deal with him. I will never forgive him. And the wife started crying. He said, you are just crying. This is just this month. You have not seen anything. What is making you to cry? And the man, the woman, the wife of the late one said, the husband just passed out, passed away about six months ago. That one said, hey! He now regretted his action. There is somebody watching me. You have said over your dead body will you forgive somebody. Let go and let go. It shall be well with you. Lay aside all forgiveness. Lay aside malice. Lay aside whatever will make you not to enter the kingdom of God. Those things, they are weight. As you do that, God will bless you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 14, And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. The solution to your problem is in the word of God. That's why you keep hearing you say that all you need is the word. Till I come your way again, remember that Jesus is coming very soon. Give your life to Christ. Tomorrow may be too late. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, 
all things have become new. Lay aside that weight and your life will never remain the same. Amen.